Hello there and welcome. Welcome to Fitment Industries Garage. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries and we are back with another episode of What Wheels Fit where we have gathered a ton of data from our ever-growing Fitment Gallery over at FitmentIndustries.com that has currently just over 25,000 cars in it that all have wheel specs, tire specs, suspension info, and a whole bunch of other good stuff. But we take that info and we're able to turn it into videos such as this to help you out in your search for some aftermarket wheels, tires, or suspension for your car. And today we're gonna to be covering one that has been highly suggested, and that is, of course, the Nissan 370Z. Before we go ahead and get into it, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so we can continue to bring you videos just like this. Once you know what wheel, tire, or suspension setup works for your 370Z, don't forget to check out fitmentindustries.com. It's no surprise that similar to the 350Z and the G35 and all that sort of good stuff that the 370 can fit some big freaking wheels. And I mean some big boys, all right? That being said, a recommended fitment range of 18 to 21 inches for a diameter, widths of eight to 12 inches, and offsets landing anywhere between plus five and plus 40, it's a big gap. Just a quick note on the 370Z that there is a healthy, mix between both staggered and square setups for these cars. So we'll do our best to kind of try and cover as many of those as possible. So let's go ahead and take a closer look into some different wheel and tire setups and see firsthand what they look like on these cars and narrow down those fitment specs just a little bit more. So the first cars we're gonna be going over have a fitment suitable for those who daily drive their car a lot. Maybe it's your daily or something that you want an aftermarket setup for but don't want to worry about having to get your fenders rolled and have to deal with rubbing or anything like that. So these will be fitments that are going to be flush or nearly flush. So first up, we have a 2013 with some bulk TE37 SLs, 18 by nine and a half plus 22 in the front, 18 by 10 and a half plus 30 in the rear with some federal tires, 285, 35 and 305, 35 and sitting on some lowering springs for the suspension choice. Good amount of tire on that one. Next up, we have a 2010 sitting on some Barstone ES2s, 19 by nine and a half plus 12 in the front with a 19 by 10 and a half plus 12 in the rear, wrapped in some Yokohama S-Drive tires with a 235, 35 and 275, 35 for the tire size on some Tain coilovers. Coming up third on the list, we have a 2011 with some Ford Star F14s, 19 by nine and a half plus 20 in the front with a 19 by 11 plus 20 in the rear with some hand-cooked Ventus tires, 255, 35 and a 305, 30 for the tire size. And again, sitting on some lowering springs. And then to wrap up this first set of cars, let's take a look at a square setup with this 2009 with some Adhan DS01s. Now, this has an 18 by 10 and a half plus 15 all around with some 255, 35 tires, but there is a catch with this one. There's a 20 millimeter spacer in the rear with this setup. So even though there are examples of these cars with square setups when it comes to the wheels, they are typically running a 15 or 20 millimeter spacer in the rear to get that rear wheel fitment more flush. Hence why we see staggered setups as the more popular choice when it comes to the 370Z. It can be done with a square setup, but you're gonna need a spacer. Moving on to our next group of cars, we're going to get a little more aggressive, and that goes for width, offset, and the tire size. For these cars, we are going to see rolled fenders become almost a must as these setups get wider and the cars get lower. So first up in this group, we have a 2009 rocking some Cosmos XT206 R's with a size of 18 by nine and a half plus 10 in the front, 18 by 11 plus eight in the rear, wrapped in some 225, 40 and 255, 45 Federal SS 595s and sitting on some BC racing coilers. And moving right along, we get to this lovely 2016 with some work VSXX's 19 by nine and a half plus seven in the front with a 19 by 11 and a half plus 10 in the rear. With a 225.35 and 275.35 for the hand cooked tires sitting on this BC racing coilovers looks really good. For the most part, we see right around a nine and a half and 10 and a half staggered setup or a nine and a half and an 11 inch staggered setup with offsets landing around plus 12 or plus 22 to get that nice flush look with a decent tire. Now from there, there really isn't much in between the cars we just looked at and the ones that we're about to get into. And that's because you guys and girls that own these cars are just, you're crazy, all right? You wanna put the absolutely largest setup that you possibly can, and I appreciate that. So let's go into that and look at our third and final set of cars, which are going to be those that are going to have a good old stance look to them. So these will be a mixture of cars that are fender to lip. Some of them will be tucked and overall just crazy setup. So first up in this category, we have this lovely 2011 with some Ace wheels, ACE wheels, AFF04 with a size of 20 by nine plus 15 in the front and a 20 by 11 
plus 20 in the rear with a 255-35 and a 295-30 tire sitting on some airlift performance air suspension. Moving right along, we get to this 2014 with some Weds Kranz LXZs with a size of 20 by 12 plus five in the front and 20 by 13, yes, 13 plus five on a stock of Audi 370Z because why not? With a 255-35 and a 275-30 tire, again, paired with some airlift performance air suspension. Next, we get to this 2009 with some Infinity Works MTs with a 19 by 10 and a half negative 11 in the front and a 19 by 11 negative 11 in the rear with a 245 35 and a 265 35 tire once again sitting on some airlift performance air suspension and then just one more to close out the day because you know why not we're going to end with this 2009 with another set of wedge wheels this time 19 by 12 plus zero in the front again how and a 19 by 12 and a half negative six in the rear with a 255 40 and a 255 45 tire sitting static on some bc racing coilovers it's absolutely incredible i don't even know what else to say how i it is what it is i guess either way it's going to wrap it up for today thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully this helped you out in your journey to find the right set of wheels and tires for your 370z if it did leave a like and check out fitmentindustries.com where we not only have wheels tires and suspension available for your car but tons of other examples of 370z's in the gallery as well for you to check out if you still have questions or maybe didn't see anything that you really really liked here i'm gels from fitment industries we'll see you later